Welcome back to my channel and we're doing a video talking about more backups, me backing up my discs and stuff. So now I've come away from the NAS side, so I've now freed up two of my 10 Ironwolf drives. So I'm going to use that as archiving data too. And also I've got four of these Seagate Ironwolf drives, which are three terabytes each. So I've got three of those. So what I've done is now archived all my data uh, over the years onto four of these drives. I'm using one of my 10 terabyte drive as my main drive for projects. So once I've finished on this disk and I'm not going to be using the files any longer, I will archive them over to these drives here so they can stay offline then. So we've got, and I'm thinking, how do I find all my files? Especially if I've just dumped them on there to get them across the disks and stuff. How am I going to categor categorize them to know where my files are? So I don't have to go through each disk, swapping in them out, looking for my work. And there's a little disk utility called Offline Disk File Searcher, which is a, a, a Mac um, enabled app within the App Store uh, on the Mac. And it's a great way to um, know what's where your disks are. And when you search for something, it tells you which disk set it is on. So I've labeled all my disks with numbers on them. So I know they're like archive one, two, three, four, and five. And I have put them into the software. I'm gonna show you how easy the software is to use. And that way I can find files I'm looking for. And the other thing also it does, I think it does a great job of looking to see what I've duplicated. Because um, obviously when I do a search, for, like for instance, I did a search for Surrey He Show, which is a show I shot over the many years. Uh, I've now found out I've got duplicated photographs in the same folders on different disks and same with I've got some duplicate um, data. So that way it helps you save on eating space up when you don't need to, especially with duplicated files, because that's just wasting space otherwise. So it's a great little utility. And it costs you $7.99 from the App Store. Uh, I'm sure that there's a utility app, a utility version out there for, for the um, PC itself, but I'm gonna show you the Mac version anyway. So let's get on with it. It's gonna have a look at the utility and how easy it is to index your files and how easy it's to search for them as well. So here we have it, it is, this is the uh, utility. Um, so it's the offline disk file searcher. Uh, I already scanned four of my disks in there, I obviously named that incorrectly, but you can rename it quite easily later on so you can keep it in proper indexing order. And as I scanned each one, you can see it's actually got the catalog up on the right hand side, showing the folders in that drive. And if we click in the into the folder, it drills down so you can kind of go right into the folders. because It scans every single file on the disk and does it really fast actually. And it kind of shows you um, there you go. So it basically shows what's on the disk. And also good about the utility, if you right mouse click on it, it will show you um, the size of the disk and how much is that free space left and the last time it was um, updated. So disk four should be reasonably empty, kind of half full, half, well, I've still got 1.52 gigabytes of free uh, disk space. So I can still put stuff on there, which is great. Um, and like, say for instance, let's say for instance, I scanned like I did earlier today, Sorry, he show I was looking for. I wanted to know where the folders were. Um, so I literally did that. Oh, it's actually showing as we go, we're doing it. There you go, so it's indexing as, as a type. Uh, so there you go, it kind of shows. So I'm looking for the video folder, the main video folder. So all this is like photographs. Some of them are duplicating diff on different disks, which I can probably pull, pulling one um, another day and stuff. So is that actually, yeah, so there are images on that one. So they should be in the same folder and not spread across multiple disks and stuff. So there's another way I can do it. Also, I can have a look to, to see if they're duplicated anywhere else, because it will show me on here as well if they are duplicated, but obviously not. Earlier when I was doing this, it, I did have a duplicated folder for the Sorry Show, so I erased that and I'll show you how I re-indexed the disk to make sure it's fully up to date for next time I do a search. So um, so that's the, so the folder I'm looking for is on um, Archive 3, uh, and that's the main folder I wanted to copy and uh, as simple as that. And, and actually I've got the Archive 3 already here ready to go. Now, if I, like I said, I have a duplicate, duplicate um, folder of photographs that already had stored somewhere else. So that's taking up space that I don't need. I don't want to be du duplicate files. It's annoying. So there's another way, way of managing your files and able to see on the screen any duplications you've got somewhere else. So that way I can save some space. So if I want to archive something new to that drive, I've got space to do it. So I raised the folder off the drive, so it's already erased, but means this catalog for that disk is out of date, so it needs to be updated. So I'll go to the actual archive um, disk I've deleted from. All I do is right mouse click, click clear, and it clears it off, so now it's definitely cleared. And that way I can rebuild the index, and they go, scanned in, job done. So now I've got a brand new index, really up to date now, 
So yeah, next time I scan it, it's not gonna show that duplicate folder because it's gone now, it's gone. So just make sure when you do that, put your, um, when you work on one disk and you copy stuff off and it's no longer on that disk, um, re-index it. Uh, I, I'm sure you can do uh, refresh, kind of same thing um, as well, and it does the same job too. Um, really nice little utility for 7 99 it's not bad utility. So let's have a look at some other stuff. Um, so what else have I been at? So let's do Cambody Car Show. And we can be a bit more precise because Cambody Car Show 2010. And I did a lot uh, on that area. Oh, I didn't actually, maybe I haven't um, put the date in it. No, not 2010. When was the last show? 2021, I think. So there you go, on that I've only got, oh look, it's just a file on there. So that was the video file I did. Um, definitely won't be 2022. Okay, so 2020 then. Okay, so that's probably, maybe I haven't done the folder name correctly. So just do Camly Car Show itself. So there you go, that's better. So that's all the podcasting we did on that day for the uh, car show. We took some videos as well. Um, so all the videos on here should be as well. Yep, digital video uh, folder. So that's all, all, all we did. How do I archive it actually? I think I did it by date order. Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, I did it under the folder name. That's probably why I searched for it. It wasn't coming out, that was, that's what I was searching for, 2021. Um, yeah, so that was correct then, that's fine. So there you go, so it's easy to search for a file over multiple disks. And I don't think this software has a limitation, so you could probably scan quite a few disks in there. So for the moment, it's not bad for me because I've only got four archiving disks so far. This year I'll probably add another four onto it, but I am looking at buying an, a 10 terabyte hard drive instead of the three terabyte hard drives. So that way I don't have to have tons of disks. I can consolidate it down to bigger drives as well because they're not gonna be online all the time only when I need to grab files, because what I'll tend to do is take the data off the drive, copy it onto another drive, so I still have the archive version, take that off, back into storage, and I'll work on that. Once I finish it with those files, I can erase and delete those, so that way then there's not a dupl duplication done. So just another way of managing files, nice and easy, for 7.99, can't go wrong. Uh, what wonderful utility, definitely worth it, 7.99. Offline disk file search, it's called. I'm on the version 1.8.1. Um, so yeah, loving it, it's absolutely brilliant. So if you like this video, want to see more stuff like this, please do thumbs up. Uh, any comments you may have on my backup solution, something you may want to adapt or something like that, or maybe something you're going through, you want to got some questions, then please do comment in below. Um, and other than that, hit my subscribe button down there, notification for more videos coming out soon. So I am getting back to doing weekly videos uh, on this channel now. Uh, covering all sorts of stuff. I've got so much stuff to record and do. I've got so much stuff I've recorded, haven't put out there yet. So I'm getting those videos out and they'll be out coming out every single week this week. Um, well, not every single day this week, but every week we're gonna get a video out to you. So um, I'm aiming to film in the week, ready for Friday. So I see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.